So last year, Kids Fashion Week introduced some kids uh, hosting the show and one of the most popular youngest hosts in Melbourne last year was Mr. JJ Pantano, who just happens to be my next guest on Terry Talks Podcast. How are you, JJ? Yep, I'm great. I'm here. That's good. You're here. You're great. And how old are you, JJ? So uh, people that don't know who you are, which probably isn't very many people, but tell everybody, how old are you? Well, I'm seven years old. Uh Uh-huh. So last year you were one of the hosts at Kids Fashion Week, yeah? Yes, I was. Yeah, okay. And and, um, did you enjoy that? Yep, I liked it. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Um, Because it must have been pretty hard for you to get up in front of, like, all those people and, like remember the lines and still be funny and how did you how did you feel when you got up in front of all those people um honestly honestly i wasn't really nervous wow. actually it was pretty it was pretty cool yeah pretty you cool know, pretty you know normal. when i was a kid like you well, i think not really normal when i was a kid like you i used to get actually uh better when there was more people it actually used to give me this like boost and it used to make me feel more confident. Same with me. Yeah, high five that, buddy. Well, I have a little visual here of JJ on stage. Have a look here. There he is at Kids Fashion Week. He was uh, one of the hosts and he had a few gags um, that he delivered so well that uh, somebody actually suggested to him that he should go on Australia's Got Talent as a comedian. Yes. Uh, I think that was Tara, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Tara. It was Tara. Um, Thanks, Tara Nash from Giant Junior, who suggested that uh, JJ go on the show because what happened, JJ? Tell me. I got the golden buzzer. You the got show. the golden buzzer. That's amazing. Yes. Tell us, JJ, uh, who were the four judges on Australia's Got Talent? Okay, so Nicole Scherzinglinger, Shane Jacobson, Manu Fidel and Lucy Drack. Uh-huh, okay. And um, so we, for those of you that didn't see the show, JJ got the golden buzzer um, and I remember, and I've seen that clip over and over and over again and I cry every time, JJ, because you are simply amazing. When it comes to live, I mean, there's a lot of adults that can't get up there on the stage and do what you did and you delivered that like someone that's been doing it for 40 years. And you know what? When I first met you, do you remember when I first met you for Kids Fashion Week? Yep. Yep. What you reminded me of was like a little 40-year-old shrunk into a six-year-old's body because you were six when you did the, yep. the hosting there, weren't you? Um, so you had a, the media actually went really crazy with you. And yes. you were featured everywhere. Like it was just like um, crazy. So uh, It was like Hugh Jackman, but Oh, you talked seven. about Hugh Jackman on what show? Yes. Do you remember what show you uh, were on? It was, I think, The Morning Show. The Morning Show and Sunrise. And Sunrise. Um, And you were pictured in so many magazines and newspapers. And I've prepared a list. You ready? Okay. I prepared a list of all the publicity. Well, there's probably more since this list, but you are on 7 News Daily Edition with Dad. Yes. Yep. Um, you are, you, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lots and lots of stuff on the, on the internet, including metro.co.uk, TV Black Box, Kid Spot, Your New Idea, Daily Mail, VCM News, Il Globo. What's Il Globo? The the newspaper. The Italian newspaper. Glo- yeah, Globo. Okay. Herald Sun, 7 Plus, Who, TV Tonight, Perth Now, Celebs Mafia, Flipboard, and the list just goes on and on and on and on. I so, didn't even know I was on that many shows. See? Yeah. I honestly didn't even There's know. There's a lot of articles written about you and you're only seven, which is so fantastic. You've got an amazing future in front Thank of you. Thank you. Um, I just... Uh, I just I've never met a a more confident seven-year-old and I've been working with kids for 30 years as a a talent agent Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, you happen to be the most confident seven-year-old and, you know, aside from the jokes and aside from the comedy, show me another seven-year-old that can get up and do what JJ Pantano did. He's amazing. High five me, bud. Woo. Okay, now we're doing a new segment on Terry Talk's podcast. Okay. It's called On the T-Spot for 20. And what it is, is I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to give me your first response, okay? So the first answer that comes into your head. Okay. All right, you ready? Wait, so one word answers? Well, no, that can be more than one. We can discuss them if we like, but don't get nervous. You're not nervous. Ah, We've got a veteran here, seven years in the business. Uh, Okay, you ready for number one? Yep. Favourite colour? Yellow. Favourite game? Minecraft. 
favourite judge on AGT? Sam Jacobson. Why? Because he ended the cotton buzzer. Well, that's that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, favourite food? McDonald's. Probably. No way. McDonald's and lollies. McDonald's and lollies? Really? Yeah. What do you eat when you go to McDonald's? Tell me. Probably chicken nuggets or a cheeseburger. Well, listen, McDonald's, we need some sponsors here on Terry Talks. JJ's willing to do an ad and eat as many nuggets as you can put in front of him. What do you reckon? I tried. Oh, ah, I there's a challenge. It. Okay. Um, what's your favourite animal? Snake. Snake? Yeah. That's an unusual favourite animal. I know. Okay, so it's because you had... it's dangerous and because my Nona hates them. Because <laughs> they're dangerous and your nonna hates them. Yes. I think all nonna. And a nonna is a grandmother. Oh, thank way. you very much. Yep, most people know that. Um, <laughs> nonna, it's in a lot of different languages, actually, nonna. Um, okay, so if you had to pick between chocolate or strawberry flavour, what would you pick? Strawberry. Okay, what's your favourite TV show? Probably Nickelodeon. Oh, that's your, that's anything yeah. on Nickelodeon? Yeah. Very good. Except for the cartoons. Except for the cartoons. You like the real stuff? Yeah, I like oh, the real Okay, stuff. cool. And um, what would be your yeah. superpower if you had one? Ooh, maybe invisibility. I like all of them, actually. Pick one. So okay. Probably what? invisibility. Yeah, I would say that invisibility. one too. That would be my, my favourite one too. Yeah. Um, will you ever cut your hair short? Probably not. No. No, is that, is that probably your, not. Because you love your long hair, right? Yeah. I love my. I love your long hair too. And it helps me get acting jobs too. Ah, there you go. Um, what grade are you in? Um, I'm in grade one. Grade one. Okay, I'm going to ask you a serious question now. <clears throat> Who was the Prime Minister of Australia? No idea. Pick anyone. I can't remember. Pick anyone. <laughs> Who do you think should be the Prime Minister of Australia? You Jackman? <laughs> no. Not me. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Oh, you still want to go and see Hugh Jackman, don't you? <laughs> okay. And uh, what about, I bet you know this one. Who's the president of the United States of America? Donald Trump. You knew that one, but you didn't know the Australian <laughs> one. Everybody know. knows Donald Trump. Uh, what are your views, views on politics? Joking. Okay. I don't Let's, have any. Uh, good. What's your favourite <laughs> item to wear? Um. What do you like wearing? What's your favourite thing to wear? My green velvet jacket that I wore on Australia's Got Talent, probably. Oh, it's a really cool yep, jacket. probably really cool. that. Okay. Um, now, if you had to pick between summer or winter, which is your favourite season? Summer. Okay. And Lego or Minecraft? Minecraft. Uh-huh. Xbox or PlayStation? Maybe X. Yeah, maybe Xbox. Okay. Maybe Xbox. Who's your best friend? Um... Well, I have two best friends. They're uh-huh. both from my school. Uh huh. Um, Max from my school. Yes. And Caleb from my school. Oh, Max wonderful. and Caleb from my school. Excellent. And what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to keep being a performer. You want to perform? Yeah. Excellent. I perform. Okay. What's your favourite book? Probably Harry Potter. Uh huh. Even though I don't read books. No, of course. Well, we're just starting to read, right? No, I'm, I pretty much know how to read. Oh, you you really? You know how to read already? Pretty much. Really? Do they teach you in grade one how to read? I pretty much know how to read. Did you oh. read in prep as well? No. No. Okay. no. Just grade one. No, okay. that's right on. And who's got the best podcast in the biz? Probably Triple M. No! <laughs> no! You're roasting me too on my own show. Come on, JJ. I've never in your seat. Okay, I've this, never seen this a year, podcast. This, what we're doing now is called a podcast. So yep. let me ask you the question again. Who's got the best <laughs> podcast in the biz? Triple M. Oh, my God. I just can't win. I just can't win. This kid roasts me too. Okay. I know. Thanks. Thanks for coming on Terry Talks Podcast, JJ. <laughs> You're so yep. funny. Still my favourite. Triple M Podcast. Thanks. So, JJ, for those of you that don't know you, what's your Insta handle? Um, at JJ Pantano. At JJ Pantano. Go and give him some love. It's Pantano. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? You said Pantano. Because, yeah, you know, I, I, sometimes I like to fall into this, like, American thing. Yeah, I get it. All right. JJ, at <laughs> JJ Pantano. Um, so follow him. I certainly do, and I love all the little stuff that comes up in the feed. Well done. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. 
um, uh, the world is your oyster, baby. So go out there and just do what you love doing. I don't eat oysters. <laughs> <laughs> See you, JJ. Okay, bye. <laughs>